Hey there, geeks. Tim Tibbetts with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to show you how to change your DPI scaling level in Windows 10. DPI stands for dot per inch. That means we can take our screen and make it a little bigger or smaller, depending on your needs. There's a couple ways to do it, but please, before you start, scroll down to as dumb as it seems. I, now that I think about it. Restore default settings. Just in case you get in trouble and you can't change your settings back, click this link right here, and please check the video description for the link to both this tutorial and this download. Click download now, get the files, extract them, and you'll see I have it waiting for me on my desktop right here where I can find it if I get in trouble. And you'll see me get in trouble in just a minute because why not? So here's a longer description. Again, the uh, link to this is in the video description if you want to understand a little bit more about DPI scaling. But I think it's easier to show you, hence a video. So let's go to the desktop and right click. Click on display settings. And right here under scale and layout, you will have the sizes that Windows will support depending on your video card, depending on your display resolution, and depending on your monitor. So it all has to be basically Windows 10 is going to let you know what you can get away with here. Let's just click something simple like 125 and watch the screen. And you see how big everything got? If I move it further, I could get in trouble. If you can live with a different display resolution, sometimes that works. And again, that's explained in that paragraph I just showed you in the video. If you go way up high, then everything's going to get smaller. If you go way down low, everything's going to get bigger. And that's kind of part of a function of DPI. The nice thing about the scale and layout right here, if you can live with what you have here, awesome. Everything should work for you. But we're geeks, so we like to break stuff. Let's do it. Now, we can actually do this by going to the exact same spot and looking for the advanced settings. Let me show you. Display settings. Advanced scaling right underneath where you were looking at this. Click on that. This is also available in the registry, but it's kind of pointless because actually this didn't exist in some versions of Windows 10. So check this out. Now I can do between 100 and 500. So let's do 125. Whoops, don't do 125 for. Do this. Now you'd have to sign out to see it and you'd be all set and you would have the same number. But this, here's where this is great. Let's say the 125 was too much. You could dial it in just a little bit and say go 100. Or maybe it's just a tad small for you. So you could do 150. But here's the problem. Do it carefully for me. This is why I had you download this registry file. If you jump too far up, let's say we'll do 200, thinking, well, that's not too bad, right? Let's sign out. And here's a problem. Sometimes, and I, I'm not even going to say sometimes, most of the time, your stuff just isn't going to work. Look at that. So, for example, look at the size of it. So let's say, all right, this is ridiculous. I'm going to change it back. And here's where you're going to run into a problem. Click on your display settings. Now you got scale and layout. Ah, I can find it. Beautiful. So when I did this earlier, it was actually opening to background because the app didn't fit. So now I can still fix it. That's just nice right there. But we're not going to fix it because we want to break it. Sign out. I'll show you what I mean. Eventually, so what happens is let's say you're playing games. You have certain apps. I don't care what it is. I don't care what you're using. Once you get to a certain resolution, Windows is going to choke. Sooner or later, it's going to choke. See how much bigger it got? So let's go display settings. That's yeah, working this time. I did it earlier. It kept opening the background or something. So all fine and dandy. So you, you can't find the close. Here's the minimize. So it shows you right there how it actually breaks things. Look at your taskbar. I, I, I'd have to expand it, make use small icons. I can't find it now. So now I just lost my settings, which I could start over again. See? Kind of a pain. Or, if you just want to get out of this and get back to the default, you see the size of this? <laughs> You're used to seeing that, but not that size. Super size. Click yes, click yes. And we'll have to, I don't know if I have this set to sign out. Let's just do a quick restart. You can restart, you could sleep, sign out. It depends on your computer. I use an SSD drive, so my reboots are usually pretty, pretty quick. But just to show you the possibilities that you could run into, if you go too far. So if you want to dial it in at 110, 115, 
take the time to take it slow just to save yourself the trouble of having to do all this but if you've got that registry file knock yourself out there you go we are right back to where we started so that's great if you get in trouble like I did earlier so there you have it once again please check the video description for a link to the article a link to download that registry file and down at the bottom as always please click subscribe right down here you see the major geeks logo or you know where to find it anyway so thanks for watching as always see ya